This woman walks into the bathroom not to pee, but to open the mirror and take the headset out and hook it up. Josephine, en place. Nikita's a killer. The parts for these weapons were hidden in various parts of the restroom. Nikita quickly rummages through them all and starts assembling the weapon. This is a sniper's rifle. Will I silence her? The perfect assassination weapon is assembled. Nakia raises the towel again and punches through the window to target her prey. A woman with short hair is about to leave. Without hesitation, Nikita pulls the trigger and the woman falls. She then cleaned up the mess and made sure there was no trace of it before her boyfriend came in. Every one of Nikita's assassinations was beautifully executed. But a year ago, such a perfect assassin was just a street punk. A year ago, Nikita and three accomplices robbed a drugstore one night. The police soon arrived. After a fierce firefight, the thugs and the drugstore owner were all killed, except for Nikita, a sad and slightly murderous woman who survived by hiding in the corner. Nikita refuses to surrender and picks up a pistol and shoots the policeman, thus killing her. During the interrogation, the cops slapped her in the face at the drop of a hat. She calmly asked for a pen, then she suddenly thrust the pencil into the cop's hand and yelled next to his ear, My name is Nikita, are you deaf? Eventually Nikita was sentenced to death. She was so distraught that she yelled at the court. Then she used her iron head to knock down a policeman and her feet to kick all the policemen who tried to control her. Six of them couldn't lift her up, but they had to drag her away. They had never seen a woman with such power. Despite Nikita's cries for her mom, she was executed. Shortly after, when Nikita woke up, she found herself locked in a secret room. A man in black walks in and tells Nikita that she's already in the ground on the news guest. However, Rico saw her as a tough, strong character and decided to train her to be an agent. If she refuses, she'll be ready to die. It's a tough call. What's the point of Nikita living if she can't be a free woman? She picks up a bench to knock out Cobb Rico, then hijacks him and escapes. All the agents stood up and lined up to greet her, and a couple of them tried to shoot her. Enrico told them to calm down right away. He's the one who's gonna tame the tigress. Nikita realized she had no way out and thought she might as well die. But Rico grabbed the gun and shot her in the calf. And she stayed calm for a few weeks. She finally agreed to join the program. For the next year of training, Nikita bullied the Taekwondo instructor every day. She would either slap him during training or bite his ear and kick him in the face. And then she'd give the other trainers a dance to settle their nerves. Rico was pleased with her performance. He'd always thought she had an amazing talent for messing up and scribbling. In fact, Nikita's weakness was her inability to socialize. She sent a mysterious gift to the male agent she was interested in. But when they opened it, it turned out to be a live female mouse. The agent was so shocked, he screamed on the spot. Nikita's face as hard as steel couldn't even smile during a class on becoming a lady. Amanda had never seen such a woman in her decades of practice. Soon after Rico celebrated her 24th birthday, she was in a state of euphoria for three seconds when Rico told her, If you don't improve into weeks, I'll put you in the ground. Nikita felt like the cake in her hand didn't smell so good. After a year of Amanda's tutelage, Nikita had to put all kinds of makeup on her poker face every day to make herself look like a lady. When she put on a black suit, she was a completely different person. Tonight is Nikita's one year anniversary of joining the agency. Rico's taking her to a fancy restaurant for a big dinner and he's got a mystery gift for her. Her excited heart and trembling hands clutched the gift to her chest with great joy. What was the gift? When she opened it, it was a pistol. Nikita's head dropped and she didn't even want to say thank you. Rico told her to kill the target behind her back. Then she'd go downstairs to the men's room and escape through the window through an alley and out onto the street. Someone would meet her there, but Nikita felt bad that she had to go on an assassination mission before she even ate. She had no choice but to take off her black silk gloves and suddenly stood up and raised her gun to kill her assassination target. Then she ran all the way downstairs to the men's restroom. However, she realized that there was no way out from behind the window, but a wall that was impossible to jump out of she can only escape through the back kitchen disguised as a lone agent. Her enemies are firing so hard that pots and pans are being broken all around her. Nikita suddenly drops to the ground and shoots down several of her enemies. When the last enemy was left, Nikita had run out of ammunition and had to escape through the garbage chute from the fire. Then she ran into the agent's base. She kicks out the gatekeeper, grabs her heels and heads back to her room. But she's pissed to find Rico sitting here reading the paper. So Nikita went up to Rico and smacked him to the ground. It turned out to be the ultimate test of Nikita's career as a secret agent. She passed the secret agent test and was free to leave the base. Nikita was so happy to be free that she went to the supermarket and went on a shopping spree. She followed the others to buy whatever they wanted. At that checkout, she went to a handsome cashier, Marco, and watched with rapt attention as he hand checked her bill. Then she invited him home for dinner. 
The two of them became a couple over the course of the night. Marco was a very sweet man, who could take care of himself in the kitchen as well as in the kitchen. He served Nikita breakfast every day and treated her like a princess. Just when Nikita was enjoying her sweet life, she suddenly received a phone call. It turned out that Rico had arranged for her to go on an assassination mission. So she had to switch from princess to cold-blooded killer. This assassination mission was simple. All she had to do was disguise herself as a waitress and deliver a bug dinner plate to her target and the job was done. A few months later, Rico found out over the phone that Nikita was already engaged. So Rico pretended to be her uncle to visit her. He even paid for their honeymoon in Italy. Soon Nikita and Marco arrived in Italy. They checked into a hotel that Rico had arranged. Just when Nikita thought she could relax, she got a call from Rico telling her to start her assassination mission right away. She had to pretend to go to the bathroom, put on her headset, and rummage under the sink for weapons. Then she aimed her sniper rifle out the window. In fact, Marco realized Nikita was no ordinary woman, and he was worried that his love affair with Nikita would end without a trace. Nikita didn't like the idea of having to hide every day. She wiped away her tears while aiming at her target. After successfully completing her mission, she went to Rico to argue with him about why he used her as a killing tool. It's not up to Rico to decide, because he's just following orders. Nikita has always lied to Marco about being a nurse, but she's really a hot secret agent. On this day, she disguises herself as a pretty girl selling paintings to gain the trust of the target ambassador, and then takes the YM weapons prepared by her fellow agents to force the ambassador to sleep quietly. However, her superior suddenly called to say that the mission had to be temporarily handed over to another team, and that an agent codenamed Cleaner would be coming to take over immediately. Nikita was so enraged that she almost broke the telephone. Cleaner is a tough guy who doesn't say much. He killed the ambassador's bodyguards right off the bat. He poured a toxic substance roughly over the ambassador's body. It was a brutal assassination. The other agent was so frightened, he took off his disguise and said he didn't want to be part of the mission. Cleaner didn't hesitate to shoot him. Nikita was so terrified, she hid under the table, trembling. Cleaner then asked Nikita to disguise herself as an ambassador to steal a file from his office. Nikita opens the safe and takes a picture of the document with her Secret Service glasses. Unfortunately, the security guard in the surveillance room realizes something's wrong and lets the ambassador's personal guard, the dog, into the room to find out what's going on. When Nikita saw the dog, she had to flee in a panic, despite the fact that she had already captured all the documents. Cleaner was very stubborn and insisted on going into the room and taking the documents before he could rest assured. He even shot a couple of staff members. That's one stubborn, stupid teammate. Nikita slapped him hard a lump to get him to wake up. It's a dangerous time, and you're still playing it cool. Soon the alarm went off. Nikita gets to the car and tries to escape, but Cleaner kept up his act. He shoots his way through a crowd of people, but he ends up getting hit by a machine gun. But Cleaner's a tough agent, and he's not going down that easy. Then he drove his car through a wall and escaped, only to die peacefully once. He had delivered Nikita safely to her destination. Nikita was terrified by the mission and Marco knew Nikita was working on an assassination. That night, he advised Nikita not to do such a dangerous job. It's not a woman's job. The next day, Miko came to Nikita's door, but to his surprise, Nikita had already left. Marco handed over the documents that Nikita had stolen and asked Rico to leave Nikita alone and let her go to pursue the life she wanted. One of these two men gave Nikita a new beginning and the other gave Nikita a new life. If both of them really love Nikita, maybe Nikita can really be free in the end. This movie was released in 1995 and is called Nikita. Nikita spent the first half of her life squandering her life to the point where she was going to be buried. Luckily for her, someone gave her a second chance. Never give up on yourself until the end of your life. Anything is possible. May excellent movies be watched by more people. You can subscribe to Chili Film and leave comments.